Um, so I personalize all the messaging in the first email. That's the only one I personalize. Yeah. Um, you know, with a quick paragraph, a couple sentences. And then, what do you uh, what do you personalize on? Um, so you know, usually just something off their LinkedIn. Um, ambition is you know a gamification and coaching platform for sales managers and sales yeah. leaders. So anybody that has anything sports related mm. um, on their LinkedIn, I, I jump on that, right? Because yeah. there's like a super strong correlation with sports and sales. So like college athletes, right? It's like my go-to. Put the name of their, their mascot in the subject line. They're going to open it. Yeah. First, line, first couple lines like, hey, Mark, I saw you played rugby at, um, sure. you know, wherever you went to school. College athletes turn sales leaders typically love ambition because they understand the importance of, you know, um, holding reps or yeah. um, teammates accountable to a playbook, yeah. coaching consistently, celebrating consistently uh, to keep everybody engaged and then templated email to follow that up. You know what I mean? So it's just sports um, teaching is the same, like teacher turned sales leader or went to school for for that. Um, content that they've taught that they've uh, published on LinkedIn or engaged with on LinkedIn um, you know and then from there uh, I'd like to reference recommendations they've got mm -hmm. from from that's their cool. peers so I'll put I like, like I'll put like their peers name in the subject line that's from like you know five years ago yeah. some recommendation and they'll be like what the hell like I haven't heard this name <laughs> in five years and then they'll open the email and be like hey Mark I saw you know, Steve rec recommendation of you on LinkedIn talking about how you helped scale up the sales team at outreach when you were first there yeah. and blah, 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 blah. That relates to ambition because blah, 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 blah. Um, That's rad. Yeah. Or go to the company, you know, and, and something about the company, but I don't, I try not to spend too much time on it. You know, yeah. the, the real catch is like, if you take the time to personalize the subject line in the first couple sentences and have some sort of tie in to your value yeah. prop, like, especially since I'm reaching out to sales leaders, they respect it because 90% yeah. of the stuff they get isn't that way. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, but I also know that I can't take more than five minutes doing that on each person or I won't finish all of my emails on Monday. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's a balance because a lot of people get caught up on the personalization yep. and they're like, it's so important. I got to make it perfect. Yeah. So they spend too much time and they don't have enough activity. I agree. Or they don't do any of the personalization at all. So, yeah. There's a balance there. Yeah. But you're doing 50 on Monday, 30 to 50. Yeah. I mean, I don't usually get through all 50 um, unless I'm like really on fire and like focused and like, I need to like, 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 let's say I had a bad week last yeah. week. And I come in on Monday, I had a bad week. I didn't hit my goal for the week. Then I'll like make sure that I'm focused. I'm like, hey, babe, like, can you please try to like keep the kids upstairs? Um, <laughs> you know, I'll do anything you need after five o'clock. I need to get Gosh. through this. Like cancel my, you know, meeting with my manager or whatever and just bang it out. If I had a great week last week, it's not as, it's not as a huge.